So I'm now off to Asia and um, this is the first day, departure day. Um, I've got a train at 8.05, it's currently on time. Um, there is a delay I've got later on in the day, but it's absolutely fine. The only regret I've got is not doing this sooner. So I've now arrived in Kuala Lumpur. I'm meeting a friend that lives in Malaysia. I met him in the UK and um, yeah, show me the ropes first. So Arabin is in tour of me around this area. Whereabouts in um, Kuala Lumpur is it? It's like in the capital, like right? Oh, in the middle. straight in yeah, the middle. Yeah, yeah. Bang in the middle. I think you're one of the best team. Yes, mate. <laughs> that sounds good. And I'll need to eat. I'm starving, bro. Yeah, yeah, I haven't eaten time. all day. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll treat this. So, you're going to pick the place, yeah. so I got a clue. We're going to get like the best place where you can see our beautiful buildings. And, but look at that. That is chaos. <laughs> Development in this area, and it's freaking expensive places. So, I, I put a Facebook status up just saying that I'm coming to Malaysia, oh, no. and uh, <laughs> Arifin commented on the status. And here I am now, he's come to pick me up and he's showing me around. And we're talking business as well, anything can stem from this. This is the beauty of traveling. I'm so glad I'm doing this. Yeah, we're gonna have a fucking good time if we are. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be wicked. Welcome to Malaysia. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> so I am in the uh, centre of Kuala Lumpur, all the skyscrapers, I don't know if you can see it, but on top of the building there, there's actually trees on the building. Now going in a place called Robinson, look at this. <laughs> So this is Kuala Lumpur, this is the centre and it's just, it's just absolutely amazing to see. The buildings are just crazy high. This is the one I'm in right now. I'm like quarter of the way up and that is the view. I don't think I can get to the top but uh, I'll ask in a minute. I'm actually feeling a bit weird and wobbly because I'm actually still quite high up. As you can see. But yeah, Kuala Lumpur, really, really good location. It's the first one I've been to. Next one is going to be Koh Samui in Thailand. No idea what to expect there but just trying out loads of different places here. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, so uh, second day here in Koh Samui. Now I'm away to the gym, get chest done. Feeling pretty flat. I've only done legs since I've been here. It's been about five days and I've trained once. So uh, yeah, desperately wanted to get in that gym. So it's a 30 minute walk. I've wrote down business names all the way up there just in case my phone plays up. I don't think I could ever get bored of this place. Every single site you see here is just, it's phenomenal. I really am melting by the second. Absolutely boiling hot here. So my friend Jordan Peake, and he's done this all before. He recommended me to bar where I can, so I've got someone making me a necklace right now. 200 baht for a necklace. So I've got them down to 150. Yeah, nearly at the gym now, just making my way there, but yeah, I keep stopping at different places. I don't think I'm ever gonna get there, to be honest. But fuck me, look how oily my skin is. It's incredible. It's, it's the best place I've been to so far. And um, I'm not just getting caught up in the moment there. It is the best place I've been to. Still got our Christmas tree up. It's really clean, it's well looked after. It's nothing like I thought it was gonna be. I mean, some of the places in Asia might be, which is to be expected, but the service is fantastic. People are really, really friendly. But this is just remarkable, guys. Just really wanna to get to the gym now, so. Just running up there. About two minutes away. Uh, Star Gym, it's called. The lighting's not too great, I'm pretty bleached out right now. But uh, yeah, should look a bit better after the gym. the feeling of coming in the gym I'm getting the feeling of coming at home like your skin is going to explode any minute you know it's really tight it's like somebody blowing air into it
one day it's still going to be International Chess Day! I'm now here to pick up my necklace so the guy should be here somewhere. Yeah, two hundred fifty. Okay, two fifty. Deal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good butter. Nice to meet you. I've just got in there. I've just got a custom necklace. That's a perfect souvenir to take away with me. I'm really happy with that. You've got a fucking clue what I'm doing. Look at this. Absolutely mental. I'm in Koh Samui on a kayak. This is just crazy. This is mad. I'm in the middle of all these islands. Like, this is just absolutely insane. What a dreamy little life I'm living right now. Until a shark comes and just fucks shit up. All right, someone's catching up with me, so uh, I'm not letting that happen. Koh Samui's the one, guys. If everywhere's like this, I'm happy. But this is the first place I've been in Thailand. I went to Malaysia and that was impressive this is crazy look at me go I'm really getting the hang of this now proper getting the high feels right now ultimate feels i have no idea what technique's going down right now but i'm moving at a phenomenal speed this is so good i just needed to get out and just see the world and i'm so glad i'm doing it and yeah so glad i got this gopro because I can now put this up on my YouTube channel and um, basically share moments with everybody. And the main reason I'm doing this is just to show that if you really are having a tough time and you're dwelling on negative thoughts and you can't really do nothing about it, it's basically just a realisation that you can do something about it. Just book a holiday, plan it well, make sure it's affordable and come to Asia. Mm -hmm. 